Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my job shop. My name is Keith, and I'm here repairing America one project at a time. Now, last Tuesday was the day all of you were waiting for, and that was the day that Eversource came, shut down the power late uh, Tuesday, I think it was, uh, evening, and they had other things to do with the electrical here on the, uh, the main property. But at the same time, they were able to change up a few things and make the link finally for my three phase. And it's coming down and my panel of three phase is live. So from now on, you're not going to hear any phase converting going on in the background. Now I'm getting here and I'm getting ready to take, I'm, I'm, I'm taking down all this um, phase converter. And then I'm going to drop the leg from the, uh, the old panel over to my... Uh, single phase side of the panel there. I got to put a jumper in and then it'll be a hundred percent. But once this whole wall is cleared out, then I can gain a lot more uh, usefulness of this wall. And uh, anyhow, I'm here just kind of playing around this afternoon. Okay, I want to especially thank Chris at American Rotary and staying at Bar Z uh, Industrial. Uh, the rest of the group there, even Tom Lipton for sending the uh, rotary unit and how he packed it up. And I even saved that packing um, because, you know, this was gifted to me and it was a great gift to go ahead and upgrade the phase converter that I had another viewer and I paid for it to come up here from uh, Pennsylvania, I think it was. Um, and it, uh, it, it kept me going, kept me machining and kept my shop going and it, I didn't miss a beat. And I want to thank you very much. I'm paying forward once again, and I'm going to take this apart and I'm going to recreate it. <clears throat> and I've already been in contact with my mentor, uh, one of the owners of, uh, North Star Propeller and Pacific Marine Propeller in California. And he's now retired and he's living in uh, Arizona and uh, he has uh, a big lathe and he's having issues uh, with getting it to, to run. Uh, the static uh, converter he has is not enough and he has to hand roll it, uh, the chuck to get it going. Um, so I called him this last week when I knew the day before or, or so, before I knew the Eversource was coming out to go ahead and change out uh, what they needed to change out and shut down the power and and uh, and hook hook my leads up so I get my uh, three phase coming in the building here. It's been a long road and there's a lot of different reasons that it didn't happen. Um, but hey, I I didn't miss a beat, did I? All right, so the videos are going to be a little quieter in the background, but you know. So anyway, I'm going to be crating up this um, phase converter and we're going to be sending it out to uh, my mentor there in Arizona and it's going to perform another task for another great uh, human being and and a uh, good friend and somebody that, that uh, I treasure the friendship quite a bit. So we're just going to be moving it on down. All right, we've completely taken everything off of the old service. We got the new service buttoned up. We have just two leads that are dropping down that run the tracer attachment and Buffy. But I have a, a run that's got to go across to the center floor because I'm going to make a hard shell steel chamber to go across the floor so that the power going to Pearl and Buffy is 100% protected properly and uh, and safe for here in the shop. And then I'll have a plug-in receptacle for the uh, tracer attachment hydraulic pump 
right here on the wall. And then our shop is uh, 100% um, all up on our three phase from the street. And this panel uh, now can be discharged and then we're going to take it down and then we're going to finish making our wall great again. All right. Till next time, get her done. We got to put away some stuff here. Oh, by the way, here in another week, I'm taking Lisa on a month vacation. We're going to Europe. So I'm probably not going to have a video until after mid-November. All right. Catch you later.